The attack on Titan's epic finale, the final chapters part one, has kicked off the end with a bang, combining multiple episodes into a thrilling one-hour premiere. As promised, MAPPA Studios delivers an unapologetic experience, confirming that this is not your typical shonen series. The notion of a happy ending has been entirely discarded, and the concept of absolution has faded into the background. The episode opens with the relentless rumbling, leaving chaos in its wake. People scramble fruitlessly to reach higher ground, but they can't outrun the colossal titans parading with unstoppable force. In the midst of this chaos, we witness the tragic fate of two young boys who, amidst their plans to save for the next winter, are crushed under the colossal titan's enormous foot. This gruesome scene underscores a central theme of the conclusion arc. The ordinary lives of common people are rendered insignificant in the face of this colossal catastrophe. This portrayal often draws chilling parallels to the horrors of real-world conflicts like World War II. In the world of Attack on Titan, romance is a rarity. Aside from Mikasa's enduring affection for Eren, the series rarely delves into matters of the heart. However, this episode subtly weaves a touch of romance into the relentless violence and despair. Annie, who has displayed a soft spot for Armin from the beginning, spared his life when she transformed into the female Titan. Armin's feelings for her are reciprocated, and their conversation while sailing to an island to board a flying boat reveals the depth of their connection. Annie, usually composed, blushes, but their partnership is marred by tragedy. Their choices make a happy future together seem nearly impossible. The burdens of their past actions weigh heavily on them, and Armin attempts to console Annie, reminding her of his own wartime atrocities. Hang Zoe, the bespectacled, ever-cheerful enthusiast of Titans, chooses to meet her end by pursuing what she loves most, a close encounter with the Colossal Titans. Her sacrificial act, while battling the steam from the Colossal Titans, grants her squad the precious time needed to fuel their flying boat and escape the impending doom. Hanga's excitement at dying while taking down Titans is in line with her character, but it's a bittersweet scene for viewers. As a leader, she was known for her intelligence, tenacity, and humor, never losing her unique personality. Before her final moments, Levi pays tribute to their late commander, Erwin Smith, with a touching gesture, placing his fist on her heart and uttering the heartbreaking words, Shinzu wo sasageyo, which means, dedicate your heart. After her sacrifice, we catch a final glimpse of other dearly departed characters like Erwin, Hannes, and Marco as they welcome Hung to the afterlife. The night when Eren unleashed the attack titan and ignited the rumbling, he encountered Reiner in a rundown basement beneath the stage in Liberio. A composed Eren uttered the words, We are the same, Reiner, just before transforming into the attack titan, shattering the internment zone's walls. These words left a lasting impact on Reiner, dispelling his deep-seated fear that the islanders on Paradis were the true devils. When John later echoes these words to Reiner aboard the flying boat, the narrative has come full circle. Eren is no longer viewed as a beacon of hope for Eldian liberation, but as a genocidal force bent on eradicating humanity from the face of the Earth. Nevertheless, Reiner acknowledges that he understands Eren's perspective. Having shouldered the weight of taking lives for a greater cause, Reiner becomes the first to recognize the complexity of Eren's anti-heroism. He suggests that Eren isn't reveling in genocide, but is burdened by it. He hints that Eren might want someone to stop him, and his gaze at Mikasa could foreshadow a significant development. Despite their history of conflict, Reiner may be the one who best comprehends Eren's inner turmoil. Eren Yeager's lifelong yearning for freedom, inspired by Armin's childhood books, has led him to a profound realization. He understands that true freedom for Paradise Island can only be achieved by eliminating the rest of the world, and he has taken up this daunting responsibility. Despite this, Eren refuses to strip his friends of their Titan abilities, even though he possesses the Founder's powers and the capability to do so. He draws a clear line. There is but one thing for us to do. Fight. Eren remains true to his principles, granting everyone the freedom to choose their path, no matter how challenging it may be. Throughout Attack on Titan, we've witnessed the recurring theme that doing the right thing is often far from easy. However, the series makes us question whether the right thing to do is always synonymous with the kind, just, or compassionate thing to do. 
Sometimes, it simply means doing what must be done. With this, Part 1 of Attack on Titan's final chapters comes to a close. Part 2 is streaming on Crunchyroll so you can watch the end of Attack of Titan. Let me know in the comments which anime recap you'd like to see next, and I'll see you in the next one!